Hey everybody, welcome back to Jermaine's Promo, and today we'll be taking a look at two brand new sharing features that's a part of the Samsung Galaxy devices starting this year in 2020. Now these two sharing features really started with the Galaxy Z Flip, and then just a couple weeks later, which is starting today, the Galaxy S20 is now here. Now for the past devices, let's say for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and anything right before that, these sharing features are not a part of those phones yet, but maybe hopefully here in the near future. Now the two we're talking about today is Quick Share and Music Share. So Music Share is a way that you're able to share your other Bluetooth devices with other people. So for example, somebody comes to your house, you have multiple Bluetooth devices and they would like to also control the music, you'd be able to share your connections instantly without having to do all this pairing and and searching and things like that. And then you also have quick share, which is just like using Wi-Fi direct and just by sharing something really fast, but it's a really nice, simple menu. You open it up, it's just like airdrop and you send something to really either anybody or your contacts. So let's first test out music share. I actually, I just tested both of these when I just unboxed my Galaxy S20 Ultra and these things were flawless. I was excited to show you. Uh, so we're gonna talk about it today. So let friends play music on your Bluetooth speaker or headphones instantly. Connect to Bluetooth device you want to share. Uh, your friends will be able to see the device in their Bluetooth device list. But both your phone and your friend's phone need to have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned on. So let's just go ahead, let's turn on this feature. Now because this phone is brand new, uh, nothing transferred over. I didn't even do smart switch or nothing. I wanted to start fresh and do that maybe for a future video. So there's nothing down here that is connected. This phone over here for the Galaxy Z Flip, I am connected to a few. Now I don't want any other, you know, any other person to put in my buds, uh, but definitely for sure with this Aventry NBO5, I'll show you this speaker, it's pretty cool. So uh, I'm gonna say yes to that one. I'm gonna share the device with everyone just for this video right now, uh, just because the simple fact that this phone has no SIM card, so there, it's not even a contact yet. Um, ask permission to connect, yeah, we're gonna do that every time. Uh, disconnect when nothing is being played for 10 minutes, that sounds good to me. So now the next step is just to make sure that both of the phones have Wi-Fi turned on and Bluetooth turned on, so they're actually both sitting good here with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Uh, really, the next thing you have to do now is get this phone or this little uh, Bluetooth Hello. headset connected. Connected, connected. And now that it's connected, you know, it, it connected automatically to this first phone over here because this one is the main phone, you know, that it uses. Uh, so here, this is the, the thing that's actually really cool. So let's head over to the brand new phone. We're gonna head over into Bluetooth. Now, instead of it being popped up underneath the develop, you know, available devices, it'll actually pop up on the top right here underneath music share. So it's already being shared via Jimmy Flip, which is this phone right over here. Let's say that I tap it. Uh, now it's just gonna ask like, hey, someone is trying to connect to your Bluetooth device. You just hit on yes. And then once they're connected, you'll actually notice that both phones show that they are connected meaning either phone is able to play something and it comes out of the Bluetooth speaker. So the amazing thing is if you're in your friend's car and you turned on this music share, you're now connected to their car stereo, you both wanna go back and forth and play a song, you're actually able to do it. So let's head over inside of YouTube Music. Now because of the copyright issues, I'm not really able to play a lot of these, these songs. So I'm gonna head over into my songs. Uh, we're gonna go to the device files. We're gonna play this song here. Uh, and so this will be playing out of this headset here. So you can see it got a little bit louder when I pushed it closer to the mic. So it's playing right there. I'm just gonna pause for right now. We're gonna move over this way, head over inside of YouTube Music. And then inside of YouTube Music, I'm gonna head down into Library. Let's go to Songs. Now there's really nothing on this phone at all. It's brand new. Let's just play this song right here from Samsung. Now this one is actually their Over the Horizon song. So you can see that it is connected to this. So, so check this out. What I'm gonna be able to do is hit play, and now it's playing that song right here on this Bluetooth speaker. And then if I hit play over here, now it's gonna play Grab Your Kicks. Now let's say this is still playing, then I hit play here. Now this one's in charge, that one's paused. I play this one, now that one's paused over here, and this one's playing, I mean, it's just, it's cool. You'd be able to go between any phone, hit the play button, uh, and then now you're in charge of that Bluetooth speaker because you gave that connection. Again, you want to make sure that you are uh, turned on with your Bluetooth devices and you connected. And so once this thing is turned on, it knows that it can be connected to things. So if you try to find Bluetooth devices in your house, um, they have to be turned on. 
Now let's head over into the next one. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, turn off Music Share, and now let's actually go through and connect it with Quick Share. So again, Quick Share is a way that you're able to find really anybody or everybody around you or just your contacts, and you can send really pretty much whatever you want to send. When you hit on the share file um, or share link or whatever, you're gonna have Quick Share pop up. So let's head inside of Quick Share. Let's give this one a little test. Uh, you just wanna turn this one on. Uh, we're gonna go right over here. Let's go inside of Quick Share. We're gonna do a press and hold, turn this one on. Uh, it's a way that you're able to send files from another Samsung device. You can tap and share in any app, then select Quick Share. So for this one, we will be just doing everybody just because again, I don't have a SIM card in here, so we can't use contacts only. You can go down here and you can actually change your name. So hit on the edit, make it something that's really easy to find. If you have a lot of people that have this brand new phone, they're all gonna be named the same. So you don't really know exactly who you're connecting to. So now that we have these ones turned on, really the only next step that you need to do is let's move on back. Let's hit on the home. I'm gonna go inside of, let's go inside of my downloads. I'm just gonna find a couple images hit on the share button. And then on the top right here, you're gonna see where it says quick share, but also right next to that, it's gonna show the person that you can connect to. So once you tap on that person, it will say connecting. Once they're connected, it was sending it, it's already sent it off. I mean, it was really quick. Granted, it is only just two photos. So it shows right here that both of the photos came in. If you go inside of your gallery, you're gonna see it right here inside of your albums, pictures, everything else. The album comes from Jimmy Flip. And yeah, so it's, I think it's really cool. Anytime you ever wanna share anything, uh, even if it's somebody right next to you and you don't wanna share your phone numbers, I guess you can do that with sharing with anybody and everybody. Um, but it's pretty cool. Really, all it's really using is Wi-Fi Direct. And that was the main way that I sent things from Samsung to Samsung anyways, was I went on top over here inside of Wi-Fi and I just went to Wi-Fi Direct and I sent it. And it was really that simple. So really that one screen that we went into of Quick Share is it's just one screen. It's a quick way to just, you know, get inside, turn it on, send it to anybody, send it to your contacts only um, and send everything. Now it's really fast. Uh, and you don't have to really be connected to a Wi-Fi. The reason why is because it is using Wi-Fi direct. These phones actually create their own signals to send things back and forth. Um, but when it does come down to the music share, you do want to have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned on on both of these devices. Now, again, my guess is because it is using Wi-Fi direct to get it all sent over and everything else. But these were the two brand new sharing features that starts with the Samsung Galaxy phones in 2020. Uh, music share, quick share. Hopefully, maybe these will will be sent off to the older phones with an update because really all of the past phones have everything equipped just not in this type of a menu setup again really cool to share two different ways sharing all your files and sharing your bluetooth speakers but i hope you guys have liked this video if you guys did please give this thing a huge thumbs up don't forget to hit on subscribe subscribe here in the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video then more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later